Well, Disney World is called the happiest place on earth, and that couldn't be more true for 10 year old Jenna Heiberger. We met her last month as she was getting ready to visit the Magic Kingdom so she could burn memories before losing her sight to Stargard's disease. Well, Jenna is back from her trip and she is here with us this morning. We are so thrilled to have you along with her mother, Julie, and we are just so excited to hear every little detail. Good morning, <laughs> and what was your favorite part about Disney? My favorite part about Disney was in the Animal Kingdom. Them. It's called the Festival of the Lion King, and it had a bunch of, it had the people dressed up like monkeys doing gymnastics and and there was some dancing and it was really fun. That is awesome. All right, so we've been talking about burning images or burning memories. We've got a lot of mm -hmm. questions after your story aired. So how did that work? You take the extra minute to close your eyes. You see something that you really like. You, Close your eyes for an extra second. You feel the sun hitting you one way and the wind and you lis just listen to all the sounds and smell the smells and then you say burn it and then you have it stuck with you. <laughs> well, we have some pictures here from your trip. It looks like you are having an incredible time. So what memory do you think is going to be your favorite? Um, the Cinderella's castle lit up at night. Right, and it was beautiful. I know that we do have a photo of that as well. So we wanted to see Frozen. We wanted to see Elsa and Anna. We, we got to see them, correct? Yeah. What other things did we get to see? We got to see Merida from Brave, Cinderella, Aurora from Sleeping, Be or Sleeping Beauty, Belle. Where did Ariel. we have dinner? Oh, yeah. We had dinner at the Beast's Castle. It was really, really cool. That is amazing. And <laughs> Julie, awesome. for you, for her to get this opportunity. I sobbed on more than one occasion. <laughs> I don't blame you. But seeing Cinderella's Castle, it looked like a, a cake covered with diamonds. That was amazing. Like, I sobbed. I called my sister on the phone, sobbed some more. But watching her reaction to the fireworks was breathtaking and they these phenom they Disney spends I think 40 to 55 thousand dollars a night at Epcot for the fireworks oh and it was unbelievable and they played let there be peace on earth heard that and I was I was done oh, I was done amazing. it was stunning so Jenna we've all just fallen in love with you here at Broadcast House people have seen you what's it been like being a celebrity <laughs> people in my school have been nicer to me oh, like right. at first they were confused why I need unhealthy snacks. Well, for them it's unhealthy. For me, it's really just great. So a lesson to everyone. Well, thank you so much. We're so happy that you're back and you had a great time. We'll be right back with another news brief.